there is power to create in every seed that you sow. Your seeds have creation power inside of them. The creation power of sowing came from the great God Jehovah himself. The great God Jehovah himself created by sowing. In Genesis, all he did was sow and reap. He sowed in order to operate in creation power. He used the seed of time. He used the seed of the earth. He used the seed of trees. He's used, he used the seed of himself and made Adam. Then he used the seed of Adam to make Eve. Then he used the seed of Adam to make the children. He used the law of the seed for creation. It's still that same way today. When your life is given an opportunity to create, seed will come into your hands. Because that seed is creation power. God uses the seed to take you from one level of life to the next. One level of health to the next one level of prosperity to the next, one level of favor to the next. When you're sowing, you're listening to the Holy Ghost on what to do with money. The Holy Ghost talks to other people to create opportunities for you concerning money. So when you sow money seed, you, you're obeying the voice of God and you activate someone else obeying the voice of God towards you. So, is that while you are in surrender to the Holy Ghost with finances, someone else will surrender to the Holy Ghost with finances. Everything that you sow correctly God takes it and causes there to be a reaction that works in your pleasure. I look at today, I sold shoes. Now I have so many shoes. I sold clothes. Now I have so many clothes. I sold jewelry. Now I have so many jewelry. I sold watches. Now I have so many watches. I sold money, so now I have so many money. Whatever you sow is what comes back to you in abundance. Whatever you sow. Whatever you sow comes back to you in abundance. Whatever is leaving your hands will return to your hands in abundance. Sowing is an event for the Father. So the father does not want to go to a low class event. He wants to see effort. He wants to see thoughtfulness. It's like if somebody invited you and said, I'm holding a baby shower for you. I want to celebrate you. And they bring you to a trailer and there's roaches and there's a uh, cut out window, smell eggs, smell bacon. <laughs> <laughs> you smell old cheeseburgers. What will begin to happen is it will hurt your soul because the event, you don't see no effort. You don't see no expression of gratitude or honor. So it will hurt you. Well, when you're sowing, God, sowing is God using this moment as an event. And so it must express the lavishness of your love. David was a master sower. He didn't sow nothing small to God. We look at Chronicles. They were sowing large money. And they was exhausting the seed constantly. So they will have festivals where all they did was just sow, 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 sow. 
they had a mindset of sowing. When you are a seed sower, you have to really put all of your energy and your mind into that you're offering this to your creator. So you don't sow with fear. You don't sow with stinginess. You don't sow mediocre. You aim to impress God with the seed. You aim to show the Lord, I trust you. I know that you're my source. I know that more money cometh to me. You can't sow seed correctly if you don't get a revelation that God is the one that put seed in your hand in the first place. The same one that put the seed in your hand, put the money in your hand, is the same one that has access to all money. See, the silver and the gold is mine. That's what God said. That financial anointing of seed sowing, it flows out of you when you recognize that he is the source of everything that you have been receiving. Where money comes to you in the earth, that is the mercy of God. And when you respond to God, see, you get money via mercy. Sowing is you giving mercy to God. The word mercy really means that it's an opportunity. That's why in Malachi, he was saying, try me. Check me, see if I'm going to open up the windows of heaven. See, he's saying, give me an opportunity. God gives you money because that's his mercy. He's giving you opportunity, opportunity to truly worship him, opportunity to honor him, opportunity to handle things in your life. Necessity, food, etc. But when you are sower, you're giving mercy to God. You're giving him the opportunity to show forth his Jehovah nature. 